Well, the whole idea of putting this color portrait set together was doing it more like a, an oil palette was the idea if, like, if you were oil painting. So a lot of the colors are like really muted out to make it easy to blend with each other. So each color that is made, we poured, I pour them all out and they're all made to, you know, go with each other. So what happens is like they're made to tint well with one another. So like all the greens tint good with, with the, um, the base colors, which would be like the clay and the sand are basically the base colors. So everything gets tinted out with these ones. So like let's say we have our chestnut and the Dijon. Like you mix every color together to make more colors. So the 19 color set, you know, turns into a thousand color set. I mean, you can keep mixing and mixing and mixing. That's the main theory behind it. But then, you know, you would take clay and dirty beige and those two will get mixed together to make another type of flesh tone. And then you can take that color I mix it with like one of the orangier colors, like the salmon or the sunset, and that also makes more colors. And then you use Snow White Opaque, and you get even more more colors with it. So that's the idea of the whole color portrait set. It's basically taking you know what was given to us from painting with oil and making it into a tattoo. That's the way I've been doing it for years. So. It just made sense to make a color portrait set that way. So like you really have to kind of adjust. You're going to do the exact same thing on every single color portrait. It's just not going to work out. You always have to be creative and change it up a little bit. You know, I mean it's a tattoo so it's a, it's a piece of art. You know, and I like changing, I like changing the image, the colors and making it more fun for me to do and more interesting to look at. I was always taught, um, if I'm gonna do a portrait of anything, this is just art related. Um, you wanna make it look better than the picture that you're working on. So, my job is to make the picture look better. You know, because if, if I didn't make it look better, you might as well just, you know, not even draw the picture. So, I like being a little more creative with it than just copying it exactly the way that it is. I don't know, it's one of those things, it depends on the person as well. And what I'm trying to work with. Right, since his, his skin tone's a little bit, um, it's not as, as pasty as other skin tone, I guess you could say. Right. I'm adjusting colors as I go. Okay. You know, because like what some colors on some people's skin are going to look completely different than they would on, you know, my skin. So I'm using the mocha along with the chestnut and white, and then I'm getting that color and tinting it down with the sand, which is giving, giving this flesh tone look.